Dzień dobry. Hello everyone and welcome to this year's virtual Polish festival. The Polish festival is one of Melbourne's biggest and brightest cultural events and it aims to ignite a little bit of Polish in everyone. This year's virtual Polish festival is no different. My name is Daniela Paszkiewicz and I have the privilege of being your virtual MC for this year's Polish festival. The organising committee has once again worked tirelessly to bring you this year's fabulous festival virtually. This year, as is done every year, we'll be opening the festival with the traditional Hey Now Mariacki. Hey Now, also known as St Mary's Trumpet Call, is a traditional five-note Polish anthem closely bound to the history and traditions of Kraków, one of the major cities in Poland. It will be presented by Dominik Radonowicz. In the following video, Dominik plays the Hey Now on a trumpet that was originally used for the authentic Hey Now in the Mariacki Tower. We thank Richard Schliffiesch for sourcing and lending the trumpet to Dominique. <laughs> On Dominic's behalf, we would like to thank Jaja Jurek Pushka, Dominic's grandfather, for building the tower on which Dominic is playing the hay now. And more importantly, buying Dominic his first trumpet. And now, it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you the president of the Polish festival, Monika Furman. Poles are a resilient people. For over a hundred years, Poland didn't exist on the map of Europe yet her language, culture and traditions endured. 2020 has shown that that same resilience applies not only to Poles living in Poland, but also to those living here in Melbourne, Australia. This year, we can't welcome you in person to Fed Square on the third Sunday in November, but what we can do is bring a taste of Poland to you virtually. I'd like to thank each and every one of the participants in our festival this year, our performers, musicians, stall holders, and other supporters. They've had to transition to an online environment as we all have, but their dedication to ensuring that there is a taste of Poland in Melbourne in November is inspiring. 
I'd also like to thank our festival committee, which is a small, hard-working group of volunteers that each and every year dedicate an enormous amount of time to making sure that the festival that we all know and love is a resounding success. In addition to the amount of work that they would ordinarily have to do to bring this about, this year they've had to figure out how to do it under COVID lockdowns and in an online format. I'm sure you'd agree that what they've produced is incredible. This year, I'd like to acknowledge the passing of a very dear friend of our festival, Mr. Marian Pavlik, OAM, President of the Community Council of Victoria. For the last 15 years, Mr. Pavlik was to be found at Fed Square on the third Sunday in November every year, dressed either in a suit or in red and white, supporting our festival. His dedication to the Polish community, his support, his guidance, and above all, his passion for all things Poland was astounding, and he will be sorely missed. Finally, I'd like to thank you for joining us at our festival this year. We can't do it the way that we'd ordinarily do it, but we're very grateful that you've participated nonetheless. All of the things that you would find at our festival are to be found here. We have our food, our children's activities, dancing, music, and other incredible performances. Please have a look around. We look forward to welcoming you back in 2021. Thank you, Ijen Kuya. Next, I would like to introduce to the Virtual Polish Festival, Mr. Michał Kowodziejski, the Polish ambassador to Australia. Dear Melbournians, dear fans of Poland and Polish culture, I'm delighted to join you today for the Polish Festival at Federation Square. Although this year's celebrations will look and feel different, the festival has been a very important event for Polish and Australian communities for almost two decades, and I'm really glad that we can meet this year again, notwithstanding the COVID-19 restrictions. One might think that Poland is now unreachable and even farther away from Australia than it was before. But paradoxically, today, thanks to the expansion to the internet, with our presence at this virtual festival, we show the geographical distance between Poland and Australia doesn't prevent us from coming together as a community. All fans of Poland in Melbourne, but also across Australia, and perhaps around the globe, can enjoy the beauty of Polish culture. This festival is a great opportunity to find out that learning Polish language can be real fun, and to master beautiful pronunciation of at least several Polish words and names, such as Kościuszko. By doing so, you will disapprove a popular catchphrase uh, I speak Polish and what is your superpower? that reflects our common conviction that language we speak is very difficult to learn for foreigners. This festival is also an opportunity to enjoy delicious Polish pierogi and dance to the accords of the Polish music. If you haven't tried this by now, you will have a chance to do that at this year's edition of the festival. And if you did, Today is the perfect occasion to master your skills, learn and try out even more. I'm sending you my best wishes from Canberra and I wish you a very enjoyable 16th edition of the Polish Festival at Federation Square. I would now like to welcome to our virtual Polish festival, Mr. Lloyd Brodrick, Australian ambassador to Poland, the Czech Republic and Lithuania. Dzień dobry. I'm Lloyd Broderick and I have the great honour to be Australia's ambassador to Poland. I arrived in Warsaw in August last year and as you'd imagine since March our work here has been dominated by the Covid crisis and assisting Australians in Poland and our other countries of responsibility. But I have had time to learn about and appreciate the warmth and strength of Australia's relationship with Poland and the various connections and values we share across our communities. I've seen enormous sympathy and generosity from Poland during our bushfire crisis. I've learned to say Kosciusko and Strzelecki instead of Kosciusko and Strzelecki. I've learned that the difference between delicious pierogi and the opposite is the thickness of the dough. 
I've also learned a lot more about the extraordinary history of Poland and the reasons why we have such a dynamic Polish diaspora who have contributed so much to Australia, but still retain such strong connections to Poland and Polish culture. The Polish Australian community is an enormous asset to us in our diplomatic work and contact with that community is one of the most rewarding aspects of my job. I'm sorry that the Polish festival at Federation Square is having to be held virtually this year. However, your determination that it should still go ahead is typically Polish. On behalf of the Australian and Polish staff in Warsaw, I wish you all the best for the event and look forward to dropping in. Do widzenia. We would now like to welcome to the virtual Polish festival, Ms. Monika Koinczyk, Consul General of the Republic of Poland in Sydney. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honour for me to welcome all of you to the 16th edition of the Polish Festival at Federation Square in Melbourne. The festival has been a great success to date, with huge attendance numbers and recognition not only from the Polish community, but also the Victorian community. I have no doubt that this edition, despite its online form, will also be a huge success. It's my great pleasure to venture into this amazing virtual artistic journey with you. On behalf of myself and the team of the Polish Consulate in Sydney, I would like to congratulate you, the organizers, the participants and the viewers on the success of this event. I hope that in 2021, we will all see each other in person at the 17th edition of the Polish Fed Federation Square Festival in beautiful Melbourne. See you then. Thank you very much. Welcoming to the Virtual Polish Festival, the Honourable Alan Tudge, MP, Acting Minister for Multicultural Affairs. Well, Jen Dobry, 2020 has been a tough year for all of us, but there's light on the other side. And while this year we can't have the usual Polish festival in Federation Square, it's terrific that you can nevertheless put it on in this particular manner. And can I thank the organising committee for persisting and allowing us all to enjoy this Polish festival in 2020, not just the Polish community, but the broader Australian community. And of course, by all of us participating in each other's festivals, we all help to unite our great multicultural country. Can I make a particular call out and um, tribute really to Marian Palik as well, the former president of the Polish Association of Victoria for many years, um, a friend of mine, and he sadly passed away this year. He was a great Australian, and I just recognise him on this particular year also. But enjoy the festival. Um, there's 180,000 people of Polish heritage who now call Australia home. They are a, a freedom-loving people because many of you actually saw um, the lack of freedom um, back in the communist era, and you often remind me um, about the importance of democracy, of freedom of speech and freedom of association, those core values which underpin our society today. And of course, we can never take those things for granted. Well done again on this festival today and all the very best. Christmas is just around the corner and I know that 2021 is going to be a considerably better year than 2020. I would now like to introduce the Honourable Ros Spence, Minister for Multicultural Affairs of Victoria. Hello. For 15 years, the Polish Festival at Federation Square has been a much loved feature of Victoria's events calendar. And I have a feeling that this 16th edition will be a particularly special and memorable festival too because it's at times of adversity that coming together as a community is all the more meaningful. Here in Victoria, we are proud to be home to more than 56,000 people of Polish ancestry. For more than 200 years, the Polish community has made wonderfully rich contributions to our state and indeed our nation. And for this, we are very grateful. 
to all those who have worked so hard to ensure that this year's Polish festival can take place online, I extend my most sincere gratitude and congratulations. From the stunning music to the delicious cuisine, I know that I'm just one among many Victorians who treasures the Polish community's unique cultural heritage. And I'm delighted that we can still celebrate this together, even while we are apart. I wish you all the very best for what is set to be a truly fantastic festival. I would now like to introduce to our virtual Polish festival, Mr. Neil Angus. Shadow Minister for Citizenship and Multicultural Affairs, Victoria. I'd like to begin by acknowledging all the distinguished guests that are here, albeit virtually, as well as all the members and friends of the Polish community. I'm delighted to be here with you today to celebrate everything Polish, even if it is virtually. For many years, this popular festival has promoted and strengthened our diverse communities here in this state welcoming all Victorians to embrace Polish traditions and culture. This year, however, we find ourselves in unprecedented times where the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic has altered all our lives and the way we interact. I thank the Committee for the Polish Festival for staging another incredible showcase of Polish spirit, even under these very challenging restrictions. Thank you for your commitment to the Polish community in Victoria and for your work in fostering Polish culture and traditions. You are what makes Victoria the successful, harmonious and prosperous society for which we are so renowned. Australia has a long history of shared friendship with Poland and its people, with many Poles having settled here, making new lives for themselves. From the first Polish migrants who came to Victoria during the gold rush, to those who came fleeing the conflicts of war, Victoria has proudly been home to the largest and most established Polish communities in Australia. Victoria is fortunate to be home to over 56,000 people who identify with Polish ancestry, making a significant contribution to our state and enriching all facets of life, including social, cultural, political, business and sporting endeavours. The Liberal Nationals value the contribution of Victoria's Polish community and we thank you for your long-standing efforts in fostering and promoting Polish language, customs and culture for future generations. Organisations such as the Polish Festival help build a resilient and strong Polish community and help shape our cohesive and harmonious state that we can all be proud of. Cultural diversity is part of the Australian story, from the distinct languages and beliefs of our Indigenous cultures to the legacy of migration that followed. This country has always been multicultural. Diversity defines us and underpins Victoria's identity as a community. Our position as the leading state for multicultural affairs has been supported by our energetic multicultural sector who have championed the many benefits of our diversity and promoted harmony and cohesion across Victorian communities. In this, we are most grateful to Victoria's Polish community for the role that it continues to make to, in our success. Once again, to our hosts, the Polish Festival, I thank you for your contribution to the multicultural sector. I commend you for the outstanding support and commitment you show in protecting the well-being and interests of all things Polish here in Victoria. And I thank you for promoting understanding and friendship with the broader community. To everyone with us today enjoying the wonderful festival, I hope you have a fantastic time, even under these very different circumstances. Thank you. Introducing to the virtual Polish festival, Ms Małgorzata Kwiatkowska. President of the Polish Community Council of Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, Szanowni Państwo, on behalf of the Polish Community Council of Australia, I would like to congratulate and thank the organizers for their idea and initiative, who despite the pandemic and Melbourne lockdown for such a long time, were able to prepare this event. Known since 2005, as the festival at Federation Square in Melbourne. This year's festival is presented in a different form, but with a wider reception available all over the world. It is the 16th time bringing a taste of Poland by the organizing committee, which showcases and shares with all of us dynamic Polish performances and arts. This colorful festival 
celebrates the best of Poland and the Polish spirit in Australia. All generations have the opportunity to enjoy folk dances, Polish theatre performances, concert of classical music, Polish culture, traditions, and many more attractions proposed by the organizers. As we demonstrate our attachment to Polish national traditions, customs, and culture, we emphasize that we are creating a Polish community here in Australia that maintains ties with the land of our forebears. In this challenging year 2020, all of us are proud to be able to share our rich, versatile culture and traditions with a multicultural community around the world in this unique way. I wish everybody a great, enjoyable day and happy memories. Thank you. Introducing to the Virtual Polish Festival, Mr. George Wuk Kozika, former Honorary Consul, Melbourne. Drodzy Rodacy, dear Melburnians, today marks 16 years of existence of the Polish Festival of Melbourne, a most notable occasion. My thanks to the organisers for inviting me to speak to this virtual celebration. Having attended all the previous Polish festivals in Melbourne, I would have been subject to withdrawal symptoms if I were not involved this time, I must say. The festival forms a vital part of multicultural input of Polish Australians into Melbourne's cultural life. It showcases the Polish contribution in the fields of visual and performing arts, music, dance, the colours of folklore and cuisine, providing a real taste of Poland. I would like to offer my sincere commendation to the organisers for the inventiveness in managing to overcome the difficulties of the pandemic and continuing our splendid tradition. Thanks must also go to our most generous sponsors. My wife and I wish you all a most memorable Polish festival. We would now like to welcome to the virtual Polish festival, Mrs. Elżbieta Dziedzic, Acting President of the Polish Community Council of Victoria. Hello everyone, my name is Elizabeth Dziedzic. I am the Acting President of the Polish Community Council of Victoria. On behalf of the PCCV, I would like to warmly welcome you to the Virtual Polish Festival. Each year, the Polish Festival at Federation Square brings a little taste of Poland to Melbourne. This year, due to COVID-19, we can't meet in person at Federation Square, but thanks to technology, we are still able to join together to celebrate the Polish Festival online. At the Polish Community Council of Victoria, we are proud to support the festival, which over the last 16 years has become a showcase event celebrating the Polish culture in Melbourne. I would like to thank the organisers of the festival for all their hard work, who volunteer their time. I commend you all for being able to adapt this event to this year's online format during these challenging times. A special thank you to the President of the Committee, Mrs Monica Furman. Our festival grows stronger every year, so hopefully we can all be back together next year celebrating in person. I look forward to the Festival Committee and the PCCV continuing to work closely together for the benefit of our Polish community in Melbourne and Victoria. I hope you all enjoy the festival. Welcoming to our virtual Polish festival, Mr. Nick Wakeling, MP, State Member for Ferntry Gully, Parliamentary Friendship Group of Poland. Jean Dobry, I'd just like to take this opportunity to wish everyone in the Polish community here in Victoria um, a great celebration. Unfortunately, we can't all be together uh, at the annual festival at Federation Square due to COVID, but um, with the benefit of technology, we're here sharing um, everything that's great with the traditions, uh, the celebrations, um, and the significant culture of the Polish community 
here in Victoria. Can I just say that it's really important that everyone in Victoria um, of Polish descent have the opportunity to uh, remain connected with your community and um, I look forward to being at next year's annual event. Can I just finish by uh, acknowledging uh, the recent passing of Marian Public, who has been a significant contributor to the Polish community for many years. He will be dearly missed and uh, I wish to place on record uh, my uh, sincere thanks to his efforts and he will be sorely missed uh, in the Polish community. Dziękuję. This virtual festival would not be possible without the support of sponsors, particularly the City of Melbourne. And we invite you to enjoy this fantastic short video the City of Melbourne has put together which showcases some of Melbourne's best parks and gardens. There is nothing else to say other than enjoy the festival. Click on the banners below to access this year's festival content. Have fun!